This video is for those of you who are planning to go to college or who are currently in college or some sort of university. Now this is something I, I wish I knew back when I was a freshman in college. I found out more about this while I was a junior, but had I known about this earlier, this would have saved me a lot of time and money. So here are some questions to think about. What if you could finish college with your bachelor's degree in, let's say, two or three years? as opposed to four years. What if you could reduce the overall cost of your tuition? Will that interest you? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video, how to save both money and time if you're planning on going to college or if you're already in college. Now, before we begin, I just want to say that if you're new to this channel or if you have been watching my videos for some time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It won't take long. All you need to do is just hit that subscribe button. You can do that right now if you want to. And uh, for those of you who want to be notified whenever I post a new video to YouTube, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So now let's begin. Let's begin our discussion with the cost of tuition. Did you know that some public universities charge around $300 per credit hour. So imagine if you're taking a three credit hour chemistry course. That could easily run up to $900. And that is in-state tuition. Out-of-state tuition, I said that wrong, out-of-state tuition rather is much more expensive. A typical private university can charge around $1,000 per credit hour, depending on the school that you're going to. Some schools charge more than that. So for a full-time student taking four courses of 12 credits, the cost for that semester, just in tuition alone, would be around $12,000. That's very expensive. Now, don't forget about the cost of books. Paying rent, that is if you're living in a dorm or in an apartment, driving to and from school, and even paying for car repairs. So the cost of attending college is very, very high. But what are some ways of reducing the overall cost of tuition, especially if you're attending a four-year program? We're going to talk about that later in this video. But for now, keep in mind that there is another cost that you have to deal with, and that is the cost of time. For some people, time is more valuable than money. And just think about the amount of time that you spend commuting to and from school. Let's say if you're living at home or in an apartment. Or the amount of time that you spend listening to lectures three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, for about an hour. And not just that, but think about the amount of time that you spend studying the course material, doing homework, completing class assignments and projects. And of course, the time you spend preparing for tests and final exams, all of that takes its toll. So what if there was a way that you could save not only a lot of money, but a lot of time? Would you take advantage of it? Let's talk about what you can do here. The answer is CLEP, which stands for College Level Examination Program. So you can actually earn college credit for what you already know by simply taking and passing an exam at your local college university. All you have to do is study, reg register to take the computerized exam, pass it, and then you get the credit. So you don't have to take the course in college. So think about this, which is better? Paying $900 to $3,000 to take a chemistry course and then spending four months studying for it? or paying less than 100 to take a test and spending maybe one or two weeks studying for it. Now, granted, this depends on how much you already know on a subject. Hopefully, you took the subject in high school already and you have uh, some foundation in that material. Now, if you have absolutely no idea about chemistry, you may have to take the course, but if you did well, let's say, in AP chemistry or, or an honest chemistry in high school, then maybe this could be for you. You can 
take the test, maybe study it for a week or two, take the test, pass it, and get the credit. So you don't have to spend 900 to 3000 taking the chemistry course in college. Here is a list of some of the subjects that you can clip out of. It doesn't contain all of the subjects, so you may need to do some research on it. But these are just some of the subjects that you can go in, take a test, pass it, get the credit, and avoid taking the course in college. So courses that you can clip out of are American government, Western civilization, French one and two, Spanish, microeconomics, sociology, psychology, college algebra, calculus, chemistry, bio, English lit. So there's a lot of classes that you can receive college credit for. So that's it for this video. If you like it or if you found it to be helpful, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching.